Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and tonight I will be unboxing the Crochet Society Advent Calendar for 2024. So if you'd like to join me, it will be a spoiler alert video of course. If you're as excited as I am to see what's inside and as curious as I am and cannot wait, please join me. It is going to be a lot of fun, let me tell you. This box actually arrived on my doorstep this evening around 9.30, so it's about 10 p.m. here in Sydney, Australia, Wednesday the 13th of November, which is exactly six weeks till Christmas. Can you believe that, guys? So I received an email a couple of weeks ago saying, well, maybe less, saying that this was on its way, and I was so very, very excited. So what I suggest you do if you're going to stay for the unboxing, grab yourself your favourite Christmas mug. Mine is this little... Um, Christmas pudding here, pop in your favourite drink, sit back and relax. I'm not sure exactly how long we'll be here together, but I'd say for a good half hour at least, because there is so much beautiful, yarny content coming to you. Now, once again, this is a spoiler alert video. Spoiler alert, guys. So if you don't want to know what's inside this box, please say goodbye for now. Take care and we shall see you again very, very soon. Otherwise, sit back and relax. I'm going to pop this down now because I took the liberty of taking it out of the box because I knew that it would be a little bit untidy and a little bit messy if I tried to do it on camera because there was an awful lot of foam in there which meant it was very well pr protected. But in saying all that, if you're not sure what the Crochet Society Advent Calendar is, is and this is your first visit i think this is my fourth year in a row that i've purchased it inside here expect to go ooh and ah over and over again for 25 little boxes in fact and not only is there yarn in here and i'm wondering what the theme will be this year you know is it going to be Christmassy? is it going to be something completely different i'm so excited to see it. But from the box, I'm thinking it's not going to be very, very Christmassy. But <laughs> that's me guessing. Inside, you'll also, you know, find hooks and other notions and things. Now, the patterns do not come out to us until the very first day of December. And there's a countdown all the way to the 25th. So let's see what's inside. Now, let me bring up the little box closer to you so you can see the actual colours. Or color and there's a little pink ribbon don't you just love all the gold sparkle on it and the back is exactly the same now this is a very heavy box guys so I hope you can see it from there as well as I can I'm trying so let's just open up the ribbon <laughs> oh my gosh it's so exciting right oh wow oh my gosh it is a very pastel looking box isn't it there I hope you can see that so now we have to try to find each box. So at some stage, I will be popping my glasses on. So here is box number one. Oh, wow. Let me show it to you up nice and close. How pretty is that? And on the back, it has a completely different theme. So in actual fact, you can use these boxes to store not only what's inside there now, but in future, whatever you wish to. It doesn't have to be Christmas themed. Now, I'm going to pop my glasses on. Oops, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it open for you. Okay, so the first thing that we see in here is this beautiful, and it's so soft. This is actually beautiful yarn. They have this every year, this style yarn, well, so far, the last few years. And it is the Crochet Society Confection DK, which is an eight-ply yarn. And it is a super soft acrylic. And this one is called 100% acrylic. Um, 33 gram balls i believe they're all 33 gram balls um 66 meters in each one and this is the color this is so hard i'm gonna to have to invest in a magnifying glass grape i think which is very surprising let me pop it there maybe you can see it a bit better than me but how beautiful is that color absolutely gorgeous even though i'm not a pink person this is gorgeous and you have a beautiful hook in here and it's got the gold leaf on it so i like that they keep in theme of the actual you know the whole box and it is a four millimeter polymer clay hook which crochet society is very well known for now in here you also get a little card i won't show you um, the QR code because that's how you scan for your patterns but how pretty is that so maybe that's the picture that it makes in the end when you put all your boxes together I wonder if that's the case so I will pop these back in there because I do not want to mix up my boxes so there's box number one I'm going to pop them back where we found them and eventually I'll put them in the right place 
So now we're looking for box number two, guys. Oh, bear with me while I find it. Whoops, we don't want that to fall down. No, wow. Now this is the sa exact same yarn, but it is in a beautiful grey colour. And what is it called? Again, the same yarn, like amount of metres, the same weight. And this one is called Earl Grey, like the tea. So there's that one. How beautiful will they look together? And in here, I think there is a little pin. Yes, there's a badge. And it says Crochet Society on it. And the back looks like this. That would look nice on a bag or, I think, yeah, a nice um, bag, like a crochet bag uh, um, number two a um like a project bag now we're up to number three i don't want to power through it too quickly i want us to enjoy each and every box but i also don't want to keep you forever so box number three guys where is it oh here it is my favorite number of all i'm trying to keep the box here we go so this is another pink again the same yarn so pretty I'd love to take them all out at once for you, but I don't want them to get mixed up. So this one is called, honestly, I shouldn't be Strawberry Delight, I think, or something like that. I am definitely going to be investing in a uh, magnifying glass. And in here, what do we have in here? It says here, numbered stitch markers. Oh, that's interesting. So this is like a material bag, little pouch. Let's have a look. I haven't seen numbered stitch markers before. Oh, wow. So I'm guessing that's, um, there we go. Hook sizes, maybe, but there are two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Very, very cute. They really are adorable. And they're those light bulb um, stitch markers. In actual fact, if you wanted to, you could take the little numbers off and just use them as plain stitch markers. But I'm sure that you would find, a, or I'll find a use for them with all the numbers on them as well. So let me pop them back in there one by one. I don't want to lose any. They are very, very precious. Now, this product, for those of you that may not know, has come all the way to Sydney, Australia from the UK because it is a UK product. Okay, so the patterns, are, of course, are written in UK terminology. Now, number four, here we are. So we're already at number four. Oh, this is a beautiful, like a creamy colour, but it does have like a, does it have pink through it? Almost, doesn't it? So what's this colour? Again, I'm going to struggle, guys. Sugared almond. In actual fact, we had this colour last year as well. I remember it very well. And is this a pair of scissors? Let's have a look. The little stickies come off. Now, you've probably noticed that, yeah, it is a nice pair of scissors. These are actually awesome. Those ones that... Oh, and they're always very sharp. I love that. I actually have a pair that sits in my um, uh, one of my Notion pouches. And I just absolutely love it. I've had it for a few years and it's still very, very sharp. So let's pop number four in there. The bottom ones are always a little bit harder to pop in. So we're up to number five. Where's, oh, here it is here. Number five. Oh, look at this colour. It's a beautiful light blue. And I did mention, I believe it's a DK weight, which is an eight ply here in Australia. And this one is called, oh my goodness, guys, is it Sugar Mouse? Yeah, let me put it there. So sorry that I'm not reading them very well because it is very, very hard to read that writing. And in here is a tape measure. I love these little pouches that they've used because they're trying to avoid plastic. Oh, wow. Sticks to, like, sticking to the theme. So these ones are one of those where you open it up and then there's a little button and you, it retracts it back in. Awesome. So let's pop it back in there. We're powering through this, guys. We've already done five days. I wonder what they want us to crochet. Now, I think last year there was a blanket and some amigurumi. But I have no idea what we're going to be making this year. Now, generally, I don't make the advent calendar daily because I never have enough time. And eventually, I do try to make it. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful colour. Does it have a name on it? Blueberry. At least I could read that one. Very, very pretty. Another little pouch or a little bag. 
yarn color card. Oh, this will be interesting. I wonder what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, this is wonderful. For example, if you're doing something like a temperature blanket or any pattern that you're um, doing, you can um, just pop all your colors on here. You can actually write on it as well. You don't have to, but I'm guessing you could. I don't know if you'd be able to erase it. Oh, maybe if it's in pencil, because it is made out of, oh, excuse me, it is made out of wood. So maybe you could use an eraser to rub off the um, pencil. So let's pop day number six in. And now we're looking for day number seven. Okay, where is it? You can see it before I do. I hear it is up the very top. Oh, wow. Oops, <laughs> I'm getting caught. Now, this one here is a beautiful grey colour. It's another Earl Grey. Very, very pretty. And another hook. The last one was a four, and this is a 3.5. So we're at two hooks at the moment. I wonder if they're going to give us any more than that. So let's pop number seven back in there. Seven. Now number eight. Eight, eight, eight. Here you are, number eight. Let's get you out. Okay. Very, very nice. So this is a beautiful green colour. And the colour on it, it says butter, butter mint. Can you see that, guys? What do you think of the colours so far? Oh, look at this little cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You can see the little hole on top. It's a little tiny, tiny bag for you to pop in your yarn so a very small skein of yarn like this one look at that it will fit in there well I don't want to crush it but it will fit in there pull out the center pop it through there and you're ready to um, crochet with it isn't that great and it fits in there perfectly how's that so that's number eight now we need number nine where is it oh there it is there <laughs> Oh, here's another like a minty colour. What colour does this say? Mint. <laughs> Mint to be. How corny is that? I love it. The colour's right here. So it does really does match the theme of the box. Oh, and in here we've got a stitch marker holder. And it looks like a little house, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Very, very sweet. I love that. And what day was that? Number nine. So we're up to ten already. So where's number ten? Can you see it, guys? Help me out here. Ten. <laughs> I found it. Now look at this beautiful colour here. Now this one is marshmallow. Very, very pretty. I remember this colour. Ooh, this colour from last year as well. I'm very, very sweaty up here. It's very humid. I don't know if you can hear the rain. It was thundering earlier. Oh, wow. A trolley token. Look at that. That is a beautiful heart um, yarn ball with a crochet hook through it. I think that would be nice just hooked onto anything really that you're using. I'm sure I'll find a nice place for it. Even sometimes on the zipper on your notion pouches or on your bag on the side, it's really, really nice. So now we're looking for number 11. Come on, in you get. Now, number 11. I thought I saw it before. I should pay more attention. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is like a corally colour. Let's have a little look. And this one is called watermelon. Yes, of course. And in here, there's a couple of things. So we have like a bag strap. Oh, I wonder if we're going to use that to make something with it, to crochet. And then I'm not really sure what this is, guys. But I will show it to you. I don't, I don't have any idea what this is. Oh, my goodness. I Is it like a bro? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. It, does it spin around? No, not really. Okay. Oh, maybe it's a yarn ball holder. Oh, yes. That's what it must be. Okay. 
I can't get it through right now, but I'm and there's two different types of clips here. I wonder if it's one of those that you clip on, pop your yarn ball on there, um, put it around your wrist, and you can um, you know have it swing in there. Some people like to walk and crochet. I don't know how they do that, but I think that's what this is. If you actually know what this is, please let us know down in the comments down below. So let's put that away for now. So that was number 11. Whoops. And now number 12. I thought I saw it. Where is it? I can see all the other twos. Where is it, guys? Um, it'll be the last one that I see, of course. Where is it? 22, 2. <laughs> I know you can see. Oh, here it is. I found it. Here's another grey. I wonder if this is another earl grey. Yep, another earl grey. So grey is very, very popular in whatever we're making. And this is another little badge. And it says, Merry Christmas. Yes. Very, very cute. Little star with a hook through it. And it's got one of those backings as well. Very, very nice. Now, 13. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Here it is up here. Another pink. Is this the same pink we've had before? Strawberry milkshake. Yes, we did have one of those earlier. Very, very pretty. Another little pouch or a little cloth bag in here. And it says pattern. Oh, my gosh. This is what we need. A pattern magnifier. Oh, it's a ruler. That's okay. I'll be able to read when I have this out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. So you put that over the writing. And you know what? In actual fact, it does magnify it a bit. Can you guys see that? That is so cool. Okay, this is going to come very handy, I think. Maybe I should keep it out. What number is this? Number 13. I'll remember to pop it back in there later because I might actually need it tonight to read the labels for us, the yarn balls, uh, the ball bands. So number 14, it looks like another pink in here. Whoops, we don't want that falling, do we? Oh, this is a nice hot pink, like a brighter pink. And go, oh, what am I doing? I've got this. Go, go grapes, still can't read it. There we go. And in here is another little pouch, guys. And it says wooden row counter bracelet. Now, I've never ever used a bracelet. I think once in the Crochet Society subscription boxes they had one. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, wow. Very, very pretty. So it says Crochet Society on the back. That's what the front looks like. And here, I'm sh pretty sure you can see all the, oops, all the numbers very very pretty i'm yet to work out how to use one of these so maybe i should you know watch a youtube video or something to show me so that was box number 14 and number 15 is right up the top here so let's pop it out oh wow this is a color we haven't had yet and this one is called peach jelly that's actually a very pretty color very, very sweet. And what's this? Oh, we've got a stitch marker. And it is an ice skate. Now, these have a lobster clip on them. And they're that rubbery, um, very flexy type rubber um, that they usually use. The Crochet Society boxes have them as well. And now, uh, subscription boxes. And now we're up to number 16. 16. Oh, this is a pretty colour. And this one is called Lemon lemon Drops. I think they might be lollies in the UK. Very, very pretty. Another little pouch. I'm loving these little cloth pouches. Yarn keys. Okay, what's a yarn key, you ask? I don't know. Let's find out together. Oh, wow. I wonder if they're like... Um, what are they called, those things that you wind the yarn around when I dropped one? But that's okay. I've got them here to show you. 
when you're using, um, you know, like when you're doing tapestry crochet and things like that. Can you see? Oh, there you go. It's very, very cute. I have no idea how to use them. And there are five, uh, six, because I dropped one accidentally. There are six of those in the bag. Another thing I have to research and work out how to use them. I have never, ever heard of them. Again, if you know what they are, please share with all of us. I would love to know. After all, guys, sharing is caring. So we're up to number 17. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to get through all of them, but I just want to pace ourselves as well because it's just too exciting. Now, number 17. 17, guys, can you see it? Okay, I'll go in order. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm take, uh, what, taking more time working. Oh, 17. Now, I still have no idea what we'll be making, which is great. This one might be marshmallow again. No, sugared almond. And yes, we have had this color before in the blankets. In a blanket that I made a couple of years ago. Oh, and another. Oh, now this, another little pouch. And this one says yarn ring. Okay, what's a yarn ring? Oh, maybe it's the ring that you wear around your finger when you're crocheting so it doesn't cut into you. The Oh, wow, this one is so pretty, guys. Let me pop it on for you. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It is one of the prettiest yarn rings that I have seen. In actual fact, you could wear it out and nobody would know it was just a yarn ring so you could always have it with you. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness, now that is stunning. I've yet to work out exactly how to use them. I do have one that is like a swan. It's like a swan and I've been trying to work out how to use it and I do attempt on occasion. Now we're up to number 18. We're nearly there, guys. Now, I thought I knew exactly where this one was, but of course, I've lost it again. Okay, can you see it? 18. Won't let it beat us. Another grey. Is this another Earl grey? Yes, it is. It is a very pretty grey, I must say. And we have another stitch marker. The exact same style as the last one. And it looks like a little lollipop. I love that. Now, number 19. Where are you, number 19? Here it is here. Oh! <laughs> I did not expect this oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so this is it's a christmas decoration how adorable look at that scarf oh my goodness and inside this one is my favorite color of all finally look at it a beautiful lilac -y violet purple what color does it say oh let's see if this works parma violet i think i think we've had this color before so so pretty oh my goodness so so adorable will i be able to squish him back in there i might just leave him out he is adorable look there can we we'll put him there Maybe there for now. <laughs> so number 19. We're up to 20, guys. We're nearly at the final countdown. Number 20. I did. I thought I'd seen it. Of course. Oh, here we are. Number 20. Another pretty colour here. I think we might have had this one already. Yes, blueberry. Very, very pretty. Bit of an untidy ball band, but I'll move on. Oh, oh this is adorable. And a... Uh, crochet an embroidery patch and it says crochet is home oh my goodness it's a little gingerbread house how awesome is that that is so sweet i love that very very cute number 20 21 all right where's 21 oh where are we where are we i don't know why i jump i should just go in order when i'm looking as in one row at a time because oh, it's right here okay is this another earl gray yes it is we're going to be making something with a lot of gray in it and we have another little stitch marker the same style and this time it's a little gingerbread man very very sweet and now we're up to number 22 day 22 
here we are here. Oh, this is a lovely colour. Have we had this, that minty colour? Yes, mint to be. Oh. Well, hold on. Very, very cute. And another crochet hook. So that makes three. And this one is a six millimetre. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. If you twirl it, can I twirl it? How cute does that look? And it matched this yarn perfectly, that hook. Like, look at them together. How pretty would that be crocheting with those two together? Oh. It's the little things that count, right? Now we're up to number 23. Oh, my gosh, we're nearly there, guys. 23. Oh, this is a gorgeous green. Gorgeous green. There it is there. It's like an apple green. Let's have a look what it says. Mm, something lime. Chocolate lime? I'm not, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I need a better magnifying glass. Oh, and there's another little pouch in here. And it says labels. Okay, let's see what type of labels. I love that they don't have plastic. I just love that. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Let me get one out because I don't want to drop. Okay, so there's labels like this. And they have the little, see where the holes are? Well, you punch them out and there's holes. And there's one, two. So there's one, two, three. And let me see how many more. I think there's a couple more in here. Four, five. Is there any more? Six. So there's six labels. There's the last one. And then there's the little, is it rivets? What are these things called, guys? Oh, I don't want to drop them. Lose them, I should say. They're hard to get out. <laughs> Okay, all right, so they're those little things that sit in those little holes and they make some like one of your projects really pop, I think. Like I've seen a lot of people put them on beanies and things like that. So I'm going to pop them back into the little pouch because I really don't want to lose those. And let's put this back in. So we're up to 24. We're at Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. So where are you, Christmas Eve? Oh, there we go. Pop it in ever so gently. And here we are. Is this another Earl Grey? Yes, it is. Earl Grey. And another hook. Is that one, two, three, four hooks? And this one is a five millimetre. Oh, wow. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty hook. All the gold leaf on it and now we're on the 25th christmas day guys so let's pop that one in there without dropping anything and where is number 25 i thought i'd seen it and now i've lost it here we are lucky last christmas day in six weeks from now guys and this is a beautiful color and it is oh, no idea did we have it before? But it's a beautiful sagey colour. And look at this. It's like a hard plastic. Or, oh, it's called a trinket tray. It almost looks like it's stone, like, like marbly. The pattern on it. Very, very faint design. Very, very pretty. So that's it, guys. 25 days in our beautiful... Crochet Society 2024 Advent Calendar. What did you think of it? Have you purchased one for yourself? Does this make you want to go and buy one? I am very, very happy. Very, very excited to see what patterns they're going to offer us. I'm hoping there'll be some amigurumi in there as well as some other make. Usually a lot of people don't like making the blankets but because they're quite small, but they are a nice, like a baby size blanket, which I don't mind at all. And these are beautiful colors for a baby blanket. But in saying that, I'm actually a little bit clueless. So let's wait. Um, 
we're halfway through November nearly, so about two and a half weeks to go, and we'll start getting the patterns, which I'm so excited for. This little guy here is adorable, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. He was a nice surprise how he popped out of there. This magnifying glass, not too bad. Everything else was amazing, though. But I have to say that it did come in handy as well. So... That's it. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. We're actually at half an hour, which is great. Just like we guesstimated, I can actually enjoy my cup of tea now because, you know, I have been wanting to have a sip, but I didn't want to be rude and stop halfway. And truth be told, I was so very, very excited. So I hope you're all keeping well. I hope you were as excited as I was and as fulfilled as I am after seeing the unboxing. Thank you for coming and joining me. And hopefully you'll get to see the projects and I'll get to see yours. So if you're actually making something from your um, advent calendar for 2024, please share it with us. I would love to see what you're up to. So until I see you all very, very soon, take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.